Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the new plugin, which is the AI Questions Generator for WPLMS. You can download this plugin from WPLMS add-ons. And once you've downloaded, so make sure you have the WPLMS version 1.9.7.2 or above. And you can activate this add-on from LMS add-ons and enter the license key to activate the add-on. So once the add-on is activated, if you go to the YBP settings, in here in the AI tab, you will be required to configure your chat GPT API key. And you can use this link to generate your chat GPT API key. Basically, you need to go into this section and create a new API key. Make sure you're logged in and your billing is set up because this API key is usually charged. Then you'll get few options to set up like who can generate questions and what is the maximum number of tokens that are required to generate the questions and the model to generate the questions. So the tokens is, is, is the way how ChatGPT charges you. So if you notice that I've been testing this all along today and created lots of questions, charges are 0 $0.01. So this is just a rough estimate. So let's see how it works. So when you go into the LMS pa panel in the manage questions, if you go into the add questions, you will get the option of generate from AI. And this option is only available if you have configured all these settings and you can click on this and then you get the option to generate the questions from a custom text or from a unit so when you select custom text you will get the option to enter the text and the number of questions so here you can generate so here you can just simply write down the text so the most important part or the phrase from which you want to create questions for example you can say you want to generate questions from react.js and you can say I want to generate two questions and here you can click on load questions now it is fetching these questions using chat GPT and since chat GPT can also give out uh, wrong answers it is very important to verify these questions so here all the questions are loaded and here you can see this is the question statement and you can modify this question statement as well uh, including the options and the explanation so also in this update we have the difficulty score which uh, is very useful and it is also generated by chat gpt so here if you want to add the questions into your questions bank you can select manually or simply use this to select all the questions then you can assign these tags, question tags, which are useful for the dynamic quiz generation. And once you have selected and verified all the questions here, you can simply click add questions. And here you can see the questions are added and I'll just drag so that these questions come on top. So here we have these questions appearing on top. Now, if I go into the WP admin panel and LMS all questions and just sort them by date. And if I edit this question, here you can see we have the question, we have the text, we have the options generated, the correct answer explanation, everything is already generated. So this is how it works and if you go into manage quizzes and then if you try to create quiz try to create a quiz let's say a sample uh, simple quiz and then you'll get the option to generate the questions from AI then again both the options like you can add generate from custom text and the number of questions or select a unit.
likewise if you go into a course if you create any course or edit any course so for example if we edit any course inside this course at the curriculum if you edit the video unit in here it is only going to pick from the text that is provided for the video which means this particular text now in future up now this text can also be transcript so we'll so it, it is going to generate questions from this text so if you go into the practice questions then create questions then you'll see the option to generate from AI inside this you can copy the text from where you want to generate the questions paste it and then you can load the number of questions now as these questions are generating they are also consuming tokens and we are recording these tokens in uh, in the activity so as an administrator you can go into the site activity and see how many tokens were consumed in uh, in generation of the questions so that's it from wplms tutorials thanks for watching